all right so i'm gonna be doing my curly hair routine as you can see my hair looks a mess um all i did was wash it i used pantene and i used the um let's just call it cantu moisturizing conditioner and then i just let it dry and this is how my hair looks and so my hair used to be so much longer than this i cut it in 2017 because i dyed it blonde and it was just terrible sorry i look crazy i don't have any makeup on but yeah so <laughs> This is just water. If you can see, I have on um, my waist trainer and stuff and a bandeau top. So, sorry. This is from my waist trainer. But, yeah. So, just going to spray my hair a little bit. This says it's um, comeback curl for, from Cantu, but it's just water. And I just add water to just give it a little moisture before I put in products. All right. Oh, so I'll try right here. And my hair doesn't look like this after it's washed. Um, I actually have to let it dry fully. And then I take a shower without a shower cap or anything and the humidity helps it get big so the first thing I'm going to do is take this um my bottle is old well not old but it's been through some stuff it's the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Cream Activation Cream you see hair dyes on it it's ghetto but so I do about that much then I spray it with a few squirts of water just because um it's a little thick and I just put it in my hair I don't really um I don't section my hair or anything like that I just put it in my hair If you see me looking that way, it's because my mirror's over there. And when my hair's curly, I don't diffuse it. I don't put any heat on it because it really doesn't do much for me. I never put products in my hair when it's curly because my hair gets greasy really fast. So if I put product all throughout my hair, it would be very uh, nasty. Okay. I think that was enough. Cantu products remind me of summertime. I guess because my hair is usually curly in the summer. Okay. Then I take this um, Goddess Curls. It's a gel. Then I take about I don't know if you guys can see it because it's clear but that amount it's sliding down my hand put that all throughout my hair and this might not work for y'all because we have different curls or whatever or your hair just needs more attention than mine I don't know but this is what I do And the back of my hair is a little dry, I didn't put enough back there, so I'm going to take the spray again, go back in with that first product, just a, a dime size amount, and just make sure it's not dry, because that's what starts looking dry the fastest, it looks the worst. Then put a little of the a dime size amount of this stuff, literally the smallest amount, just for that one area. And I'll insert pictures of my hair when I cut it.
I cut it about I cut it in July of 2017 so it's February 2nd 2020 so it's been wait but no it's 2018 sorry July 2018 and it's 2020 so it's been almost two years and I cut my hair to like this short so it's like yeah I had no hair so that's why you guys always see me in weaves and stuff even though I wear weaves anyway um yeah that's why Next, I take this Curls can, Curls Unleashed. Okay, so I take this Curls Unleashed. It's a coconut shea butter curling amplifier gel, gel, whatever. It's almost empty. But I just take a good amount on the back of my hand. It's the same amount that I've used with everything else. And it's a little, because it's old. It's getting a little old. I, just, I need to get more. Spray my hand. And this really just holds in my curls like this isn't for the whole it's for your whole head but it's not for like to work in I'm not working any products into my hair I'm just I'm not working this product into my hair not any products any product into my hair I'm just and you see I'm scrunching it as I go this is gonna be really quick like a real quick tutorial because my hair doesn't take much. All right, and then something some people probably don't use anymore. I use its mousse. This is an olive oil mega moisture mousse. You know, the big silver bottle. And it's green. So I got about this much. And there's one more product I use that people probably don't use and well I use two more products but that people probably don't really use but all these products are available at like Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, whatever. I usually go to Walgreens for my products. All right, so the next product that I use is this Ampro Pro Style Clear Ice. It's like a gel. And this goes for my edges. And I'm not one of those girls who's obsessed with their edges or laying their edges, none of that. I literally just don't want them standing up.
All right, so I got a toothbrush. It's not my edge brush, but I guess will be now. Because I didn't feel like looking for it. And this is just a guest toothbrush that we have. So I just fix that up a little bit. I don't know how to do edges. I wasn't raised doing edges and none of that. My mom literally just swooped it and pulled it back. So that's what I do. I don't really care about edges like that. I didn't even know edges was a thing, honestly, until I got to high school or college. College. Like, I didn't, I, I just called them baby hairs. I didn't know it was edges. I knew people would say, oh, you don't have, ed like, people don't have edges, but I didn't know what that meant. But, yeah, these are baby hairs. I mean, yeah. Some of them aren't because they're long as hell now, but... I might just say forget the edges. Yeah, forget it. Too much work. But this, this always works for me. Just a little swoopity swoop right here. Just so that no matter how I part my hair, you got. I got ages, you know? Alright, now what I always do is hairspray. This is just Tresemme hairspray. And then I flip my head over. And scrunch it. And yeah, and then I just let my hair dry. So, it's a little sticky right now. It's like, but the curls look a little more defined than they did before. Like they looked before, it was just like puff. And my hair just gets big anyway, so. But yeah, I'll show you guys how it looks. Once I, it's dry and I'm ready, oh, and I'm ready to go out. So I'll see you guys in a few.